Hello everyone, this is your pal Luigi Rocks 2014 doing another Mario Party 7 video. Today we're doing King of the River and um now actually first off I wanna say to unlock this mini game you have to um like you have to go to the duty free shop and buy this mini game off by for a certain amount of cruise mileages. Yes, this mini game is one of these unlockable mini games that you have that you can buy. So yeah, you have to I forget how much it costs, but you're gonna have to spend your cruise mileages to actually unlock this mini game. So I have no idea how much it really costs, but um I mean, you'll find out when you find this minigame in the duty free shop when you go to the little cruise mileages computer monitor screen thingy. So, I mean, I'll show you what it is when I finish this walkthrough up, like near the end of the walkthrough. Anyways, King of the River. You'll find treasures hidden within the jungle. No, I don't want to know how to play this. Now. I could go with the easy mode because you know if I just do easy it'll end, end really shortly. At the same time I really want to do normal but I don't know. You know what, eh, forget it, I'm just going to do easy for right now. So yeah, I, I know what you're thinking, dude Luigi you should just do normal but you know what, I honestly don't feel like doing normal right now. Uh, all right. If Think Tank, I can actually do that mini game, maybe. Well, I am the one person, but what is the one person? What does one actually? There we go, and I win. So yeah, I know this mini game is going to be really short, but you know what? As I said, I've had the mini I've had this walkthrough going on for so long. So, I know I could probably go up for about maybe 10 mini games or so, but since since I've had this walkthrough going on for so long, I have to do easy mode for King of the River. I know I could have went for normal, but you know what? Forget it. I have to get this game over with. I mean, it's just so fucking ridiculous that about nearly, I don't know, about nearly six months later, I'm still doing this game. It's ridiculous. I'm, and there's no way I'm going to let this take about a year to finish. It's so retarded. Alright, La Bamba. Alright, so it looks like I won that one. Yes, Luigi, you're a winner. And always will be. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately, we still got a couple more mini games to do. So, yeah, you can, you guys can yell at me all you want in the comments box saying, Dude, you could do a better dip. You could do, like, way better than that, Luigi. Like, come on, you could have tried at least maybe normal or hard. Well, hard's actually a really long one because you're doing about maybe, oh, uh, what you we we'll call it 30 mini games, I think. Or actually, I think even with easy, I think you're doing about 10. I think after this, yeah, there's another section. I can't remember. But yeah, I do remember in in hard mode, there's like 30 mini games. I think you have to go through. And then in normal, there's about maybe 10 or 15, maybe 20 mini games. I'm not exactly certain. I could be wrong though. Don't so. I mean, I haven't played this in a really long time, so just don't expect me to be right, guys. Because yeah, I haven't, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I kind of forget the aspects of what hap what goes on and what doesn't go on, and yeah. So, so I'm I'm sort of doing this blindly as for right now, since I kind of don't remember what I'm doing. See, I just haven't done this in a long time. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh, if I remember the the fifth one will probably end up having a Koopa Kid in it, so that means we'll have to do one of those uh multiplayer Bowser mini games.
Alright, ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Alright, well, it looks like I won that mini game. Ah, darn it. I was hoping I'd be able to beat my record, but now nah, I failed. Again. Sweet. Alright, next is the Koopa Kid. Or not. Alright, never mind. I guess maybe we'll deal with him another day. If I. Or unless if I end up going for another sector. Like going for another five mini games. Yeah, I forget how many mini games you end up doing for, uh. Uh. Alright, I won that one. Awesome. And hopefully it's only five mini games, because, yeah, I honestly really just don't feel like going through the habit of just going through ten. Oh, I got a coin there. Normally it would have been something else, but since, um... Yeah. No. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, so I guess maybe there is ten mini games. I'll let you buy if you beat a mini game. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you shy guys can't scare Luigi. Now you're probably wondering why is it that Toadette's in this mini game and not Peach? Well, in this mini game, the the game ends up choosing random computers for you. So the computers you end up choosing, like Mario, Peach, or Daisy. Yeah, that won't end up happening. You won't be able to play with those computers on a minigame like this. King of the River is actually a single player minigame. This is one that only one person can do. Which I can understand why it's an unlockable minigame. So yeah, I guess in this section we'll end up finding Koopa Kid in here. Alright, bring it on. I'm ready. This is another game I can probably, I can actually do. Maybe, as long as I don't end up acting like a dumbass and get hit all of a sudden. I have no problem with this section, it's just, there's one section I just have, I've been having issues with. It's, it's been happening today lately that I just can't seem to get through this one section. And you, you'll see what it is when we come to it. Keep running, keep running. It's this part right here. I always, I keep getting hit by that because I'm like so impatient and just want to get through this shit. Ah, oh, I almost beat my record. That was so close though too. Yeah, if I end up getting hit, I don't really care. Oh, there's the Koopa Kid. Just what we've been waiting to see. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, same ones as usual. Mario, Daisy, and Toadette. Not really the best combination out there, but okay. Well, still, I mean, it could be if I want it to be. Watch out for the thwomps. You get hit by those guys, and you're pretty much screwed. I jumped too early. That is like the one section I always end up dying on. That's ridiculous. Come on, get hit.
Wow, well, she ends up winning that one. Well, if my I don't care if I get hit on my boat. Yeah, if I lose a life, I don't care. It's fine. I always have a hard time with those Bowser mini games. I don't know why. All right, let's hope I do this one. Last time I did it, I ended up losing. And it was when I was recording Windmillville that this had happened. Is it A or B? Swing hammer. All right. Oh, it looks like they're all on Daisy's side now. <laughs> Yay. Easy. Oh, sure, all right. There we go. Alright, I think this time that's it for King of the Hill for real, hopefully. And we got ourselves a treasure. Yeah, no problem. Yep, got a few cruise mileages out of that. Oh, if that had taken us back to the main menu, then I would have been fine with that. Anyways, um, yeah, we just gotta win mini games to find treasure. That's pretty much how you do King of the River. It's a really easy mini game, really fun too. So, yeah, as I said, if you want to unlock that, then you'll find that in the duty free shop. And it looks like I got a couple more cruise mileages. How lucky is that? Alright, well, next video we're going to be doing Deluxe Cruise. But you know what? Before we do, I guess maybe I'll show you maybe one thing in the Duty Free Shop real quick. Um, I'm going to show you this real quick. Oh. I didn't even realize I... Oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that, that's in the souvenir section. Got ya. So not everything I have is unlocked. So yeah, I guess now I have everything I got as of right now unlocked. So, King of the River, you can find that on... Which page is it? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, and also Birdo and Dry Bones, by the way, those guys are also unlockable characters, and the computer's brutal difficulty. There's that you can also unlock, which you have to spend cruise mileages on. And then you got the stunning background, which is like the thing. If you saw my solo cruise walker, you'll notice that this thing was like in the background when I. If you watched like part six when I won uh, Bowser's Enchanted Inferno and all that. Yeah. And they got staff records and all that crap. So that's all I actually just want to show for the moment. Um, over here you have the souvenirs. I don't have every single one as you can see. I'm actually missing one. I forget. Oh wait, no I'm not. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing any souvenirs. I pretty much got all the ones I can for right now. Over here we have this... Uh, this little star thingy. Now what this does is you can there's a button certain button you're supposed to press where you can activate the credits on that. I'm not gonna activate it just yet. I wanna wait till like near the end of the walkthrough before I do that. So anyways, next video we're doing the deluxe cruise and I'll see you guys next time when we do that. 
Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys when we do the Deluxe Cruise. Anyways, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, even though once again, it's this video is going to be uploaded the day after Christmas, but whatever, at least I said it, so. Unlike any other holiday I've been saying, like, I've never really mentioned, like, any of the holidays that I record, like, on, like, me recording videos on Thanksgiving and all that. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, guys. I never did say that because, you know, I just never really have the time to or Happy Halloween. And my apologies for that, too, guys. And I'm sorry if I never do say those. But, yeah. I'll see you guys next time on Deluxe Cruise. Peace out, guys. And I'll, again, see you all next time.